Join us right here, now here on the curvy couch. You walk it across the street. We've got Andrew Wilkow, the host of the Wilkow Majority. The extremely Thank successful uh, show over on Thank Sirius. You. Thank you. Uh, you do we love having you on. You did a great job. Thank you. And that's part of your success. Let's be honest, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, <but> Andrew <laughs> on, your we on your website, you say, on today's show, Democrats putting all their eggs in the Comey basket. I, they, they have been searching for that thing, right? That thing that's going to bring down Trump. And it's been going on and on and on since, since he actually got the nomination. And it's just not there. And I think the Democrat leadership lost control of some of its wackier voices. Is that like why Al we're Green. not hearing Senator Schumer? We're not really seeing that. Yesterday, Pelosi Pelosi yesterday she said people need to calm this talk down. The Washington mm -hmm. Times said the piece. Because she went on The View and said it also. That they know that they kind of threw this out there. They threw the tofu to their wacky, you know, their wacky members, and now they kind of can't pull it back. They know there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Certainly not yet. So what are the American people going to think if there's no there there? I, I, think, I think some of the other networks are going to continue raising the specter. I think they're going to continue with the polling and saying, well, you know, this many or this percentage of Americans think there's something there. But until there's high crimes and misdemeanors, right. there's no articles of impeachment but, to file. They're already Andrew, talking you, about it. But you know, yeah. you know, the problem is, is we're not even talking about Russian collusion now. We're talking about obstruction. So now instead of talking about Russian collusion and what they did cyber, you know, through the cyber attack and maybe with the Trump ancillary people might have contacted, yes or no? Now we're looking at, well, what was he doing? Why was he talking like this? Why was Comey taking notes? So we're already off on the, on the other fork in the road. Well, first of all, I'd like to see uh, Loretta Lynch's notes from the meeting with Bill Clinton, which we mm, That'll are, be a question. Right? And just because he wrote notes, again, no high crimes and misdemeanors. The president making you feel uncomfortable, not a high crime or misdemeanor. None of this rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors, no matter how many times people try to say it. This is nothing. Sure, nothing that uh, Mr. Comey wrote yesterday in that seven-page document, which he's going to present uh, today at 10 o'clock. You'll see it live here on the Fox News Channel, proves a crime. But people are talking, Andrew, and you look at the front page of the New York Post today. Uh, the president of the United States reportedly uh, told okay. Mr. Comey, I expect loyalty. You got a problem with that? Uh, no. I mean, again, not a crime. Might be uncomfortable, might not be the thing a president should say to the FBI director in that exact language. Not a crime, not obstruction, not a high crime or misdemeanor. You okay. mentioned impeachment. Al Green, Senator Al Green and Senator Sherman already saying that they have filed articles of impeachment. Listen to this. I have engaged in the process of drafting articles of impeachment. My articles of impeachment uh, are being reviewed. And at some point, if no one else does, I will file articles of impeachment to impeach President Donald J. Trump for obstruction of justice. Andrew, the, and average person who's the average person looking in, when they hear the Democrats less than six months into a new term trying to impeach a president on loyalty, and maybe some obstruction of justice. And if that's true, that would be a bad thing. But there's no provable evidence no. that that ever happened. But for the average person to hear that talk, isn't that crazy? Yeah, and good for him if he wants to file his little, you know, articles of impeachment. It's going to go nowhere. The Democrats don't control the House of Representatives. Again, no high crimes and misdemeanor. What would you convict in the Senate on? Mm -hmm. what, what, what would be the reason for senators to convict the president and remove him? Well, they don't uh, like him. Uh, well, I would say this. Uh, I think Jonathan Turley said... To do something like that, you need a his term, lead pipe cinch, in order to do something like that. And this is not that. This is Donald Trump acting like Donald Trump. In fact, Chris Christie says, these are the words that Donald Trump uses in New York. This is what the people, they elected an outsider as president. They elected someone who had, who had been, and they didn't elect someone who had been inside government. And quite frankly, hadn't spent a lot of time interacting with government except at a local level. So that's what he does. This is what Donald Trump does. He sees no difference. So the, the, it's obvious that some of these members, again, some of the wackier voices in the Democratic Party are playing to the extreme base that wants more of this. It's one thing if people do it on television or radio as hosts or bloggers sure. or whatever. It's another thing when sitting members, I mean, Republicans didn't even want to use the I word, right? It was the I word sure. under Obama. But now they're throwing this out there. Well, then the president, he had a meeting in the White House with Republican congressional leaders talking about the wall, that he's going to build the border wall. He has his latest idea is to cover it with solar panels, saying that the solar panels, the electricity generated, will pay for the wall. I, I, I love this. I, I, I do. I, I love this because I'm trying to I'm trying to 
picture the reaction inside the Sierra Club or one of these environmental, you know, That's right. groups. He's singing their song. Yeah, that and think about the, the the kind of competition you can have breaking out, you know, sections of the wall for different competing companies, and then we could find out which solar panels are but, best. But Andrew, this isn't just a pipe dream. This was an entry into the contest to get the contract yeah. to build the wall. Why they not? know how to do it. It's a design that's out there. You can see this online. Why, but why not? I don't why, know. why not utilize the, the power of the sun where it's the most hot in our country at sure. the border? I would have sold it like a minor league baseball stadium. I would have said you can buy like in Models, can buy a portion of and, the wall, and, and therefore it can pay for that the wall. Well, remember he said great. he wants a big, beautiful wall. So will the solar panels be on the American side or on the Mexican we can side? Share the on the sun side. <laughs> we can right. share the energy with them. That's fine. All right. All right. Very good. All right, Andrew, look forward to hearing your show. When can we hear it? Uh, noon to three Eastern. Right. right if you show good. up on time, it's yeah, across I, the street. I, will, I promise I'll be on time. I'm yeah. going to go right there. Okay. Right. Andrew Wilkow, thanks. Thank you, sir. You'll have a lot to talk about today.